Ashton, Spider-Man, bringing you your next lesson in self-defense for kids. What we're gonna talk about today is something that we affectionately call the cat defense. Cat defense, if you use your imagination, if you have a cat that hates water, and let's say it gets, I don't know, sprayed by a skunk. So you gotta give it some kind of a bath. And what you're doing is you're taking it to the bath and it starts to get tense. And then when you go to put it in the water, it, the claws come out, it starts scratching and clawing and biting and scrambling and really just moving erratically. Very, very fast, very, very aggressive. And a lot of people, they just wanna let go. In fact, most do. They let go, the cat goes running away. Go, oh, that cat's crazy. But the cat got away. Imagine a potential attack situation. The water is your attacker and you're the cat. You just want to start taking action to defend yourself. And you want to use the techniques that we've shown you. But failing that, doing something is better than doing nothing. Wiggling, lifting your arms, swatting. Sometimes you have to do things that are even more severe. Now, I don't like to recommend biting, but if it's a kidnapping scenario and an adult's picking you up and their van is right here and the door is open and they're running you to it and you can bite their arm and make them have a reaction of ah and let you go, that might be the thing to do. Now, the way in which we're gonna do this is we're gonna use your self-defense tool of Bob. And Bob is gonna be free range right now. She's going to basically defend herself from an upright position and see if she can last 10 seconds. Hey, I'm gonna fight you! Back up! No, I'm done. Now, obviously, Bob doesn't feel any pain and Spider-Man's not getting hit for real. It's a training situation to teach you to flurry or do that cat response. Now, the next step is if Ashton finds herself on the ground. And what she can do is anything she wants. She can slap, headbutt, claw, chop, punch, palm heel, elbow, kick, push him with her legs. The one thing I don't want her to do, though, is flip to her front while Bob is on top of her. Now, nice and easy. As I'm getting over her, she can kick upwards. If I get on top of her, I'm going to put pressure on her. Now she might start doing some hand techniques like claws and elbows and things like this. And what she was always trying to do is scooch herself out from under bottom. She's trying to get away and I'm gonna try to stick to her and I'm on top of her and I'm moving. Now, the wrong thing to do is if she rolls to her front to do like a push up, no good, okay? What she has to do is create space. Now, if she starts hitting him, she can scoot her hips out, get herself up to her feet. If she gets up to her feet, she is good. Fall down, here we go. Oh, there's some space. There you go. There you go. And time. You okay? Yeah. One. Hey, young lady, I'm gonna fight you. Back up. And fall. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I would've gotten up, but now you're stuck, man. That's it, that's it. Good girl, good girl. Get your way up, and watch out now. A little bit longer, that's it. Oh, good, hold on. Good, nice, and time. Woo! You all right? Yeah. Is that exhausting? A little bit. Just trying to hold this bob and take those shots is exhausting, and I'm Spider-Man. Wow, we gotta get you a costume. Look my sight. Good job. Team, rest Bob. Spider-Man's conflict resolution tip number six. Be mindful of other people's needs. You see, every situation is different, every person is different, and they should be treated accordingly. Try to remember this. To a hammer, everything's a nail. So if you approach every single situation the same, you might get some successful results, but chances are, you're gonna have few and far between successful moments. Be receptive to what the other person is saying, temper your responses, and try to really be in tune with what it is that you're trying to accomplish. What you're trying to accomplish is a peaceful resolution, not just simply your way. And in order to find a peaceful resolution, sometimes compromise is necessary. So again, be mindful of other people's needs. Thank you, Ashley, you did great. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode. Spider-Man's conflict resolution tips number six. I have no idea what it is. I gotta go check my paper. Every time. Ugh. I should have some fake puke. Gross. Should have a mouthful of water and just spit it out. Some cream and mushroom soup. <laughs> <laughs>